So here's a brand that I personally need to cover a lot more on my channel. This is a brand called Oman Luxury. I do have a little bit of experience with the brand. I personally own a few from the house. Here we have one called Belfiore, and this fragrance has a lot of really interesting notes. I'm excited to tell you all about it, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I tell you all about Belfiore by Oman Luxury, and I give you my thoughts on the smell, the performance, longevity, comparisons, the evolution on my skin, so on and so forth. I do want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode. It would really mean a lot to me. Now, of course, I do have Paramore and Overdose and I have Wanderlust and I'm looking at a few other bottles that I have here in front of me. But this is one called Belfiore composed by Marie Salamagne. And this fragrance has some really interesting ingredients in the note breakdown. We have apricot, carrot, osmanthus, suede, oak moss, beeswax. We have gardenia. So it seems fruity, vegetal, earthy, leathery. There's a lot of different components in here. And I certainly have my own impression when I first smelled it. And I did make a few comparisons to other fragrances, none too strongly though. So in any case, I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell, what it reminded me of and what I truly think of the smell. But let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation. So right in the opening of this fragrance, I got that apricot note loud and clear. And for me personally, apricot and peach have a very similar aroma. As a matter of fact, in the opening, I thought I got a bit of that peach ring candy type of a smell. And there was something sweet in here. So I'm smelling the fruity tendencies. I'm smelling the sweetness. And I'm like, oh, wait a second. This is either a gourmand or like a pseudo gourmand. And initially, I thought it smelled a little similar to Sweetie Oud by Roja Parfum with that macaroon accord until I actually paid closer attention to it. And I said, no, wait a second. <laughs> There's actually something a lot more, um, you know, unique happening in here. Not to suggest that this isn't unique, but I mean unique in the sense that it did its own thing. I think they both are very unique. This fragrance opens up with the apricot, but it also has a little bit of like this earthy sort of um, leathery texture underneath. And the beeswax is adding this perfect amount of sweetness while also creating this thickness to the composition that I really enjoy. And it's so hard to describe. You take a look at these ingredients and you know, something like osmanthus, osmanthus in and of itself can have a bit of like a honeyed peach aroma, especially if you try osmanthus essential oil. I mean, that stuff is so strong. On many occasions in my life, I had the opportunity to smell it and it has such a rich and unique aroma to it. So smelling that, knowing that there's a bit of gardenia in here as well. So it kind of gives this clean white floral vibe to the composition and the carrot note that's in here gives it this perfect vegetal vibe. I'm smelling it and it has this animating quality. It's full of life and really the star players in here are the osmanthus and the apricot. Those two ingredients, if you forget everything else, those two ingredients are really the crux of what you can expect from this fragrance, osmanthus and apricot. And in terms of the sweetness, I thought I was getting a bit of a macaroon vibe, like I said before. And then when I saw the apricot and I smelled it again, I really had to put my finger on it and say, you know what? This smells like a much, much less sweet version of Dulce Diablo by Narcotica. Now, Dulce Diablo is so sweet right? It's so gourmand with the vanilla and the cocoa, and it has a lot of other things happening in here. This has just the beeswax. 
and you know it's not an animalic beeswax as i said before it's not musky it's not you know but it does have this viscous syrupy quality about it that i think is a perfect complement to both the osmanthus and the apricot. It has a lot of unique tendencies on account of the carrot and the oak moss and all these other earthy vegetal structures that are contributing to the overall vibe, but ultimately it's an osmanthus and apricot fragrance and it smells very delectable. I think if you're familiar with apricot and peach and fragrances, a lot of people tend to make the association that it's um, quote unquote feminine leaning. Um, for me personally, I find this to be completely unisex. It just has a very rich, bright, animating sort of um, an aroma to it. And it's one that I can't recommend enough. I think this brand has put out a lot of really, really high quality offerings. And Belfiore by Oman Luxury is one to add to the list of fragrances that you have to discover from this brand. If ever you find yourself uh, with the opportunity to try their fragrances, I would definitely recommend trying Overdose, which is one that I love, Paramore and Wanderlust. I haven't tried everything that this brand has to offer, but certainly this is a great fragrance and I can't recommend it enough, especially if you're a fan of fruity floral fragrances with just a touch of sweetness, never bordering on the gourmand and ones that smell natural as opposed to synthetic. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, certainly I've tried a lot of fruity floral fragrances in the past, um, but this is not one that I can directly or explicitly compare to anything else that I've tried. Of course, I did compare it to Sweetie Oud just in the opening, and then in the dry down, a much less sweet version of Dulce Diablo by Narcotica, but those are such loose comparisons. I mean, if you've tried some other Osmanthus, Apricot, or Peach fragrances, you might have some closer comparisons to offer yourself. Longevity is about eight hours. Projection was great for the first hour of application. It sat closer to the skin around an elbow's length, right around hour five. A skin scent right around hour eight. In terms of the versatility, 60% feminine, 40% masculine, if that makes you happy, but I find all fragrances to be totally unisex. This is great for casual or formal scenarios. Anybody of any age can enjoy this one, in my opinion, and this is great, I think, for every season except for the winter. I can see the gardenia, the osmanthus, and also the apricot working really well in the hotter weather. So I think this one is really gonna shine in the spring and summer. And in terms of the presentation, really beautiful presentation with the sleeve and the box and the unique way that it opens and just everything about it, I think is really, really nice. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of apricot, you want a fragrance that smells like peach slash apricot, a little bit of osmanthus, smells natural, touch of sweetness, not gourmand, but an exceptionally well done fruity floral fragrance from an accomplished perfumer. Definitely check out Belfiore by Oman Luxury. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something of value from today's episode. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.